Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell, and welcome to The Cutting Room Floor. This is episode number 25, and we are going to be covering the Low Hotel Midnight, or three, well, it wasn't midnight, it was 3 a.m. Yes. Tour of the hotel. What a great experience. Uh, I am joined by my co-producer, Will Krapinski. You What's can, up, guys? You can find him on YouTube. Just type in Will Krapinski. <laughs> K- <laughs> Spelling R- will be at the end. K-R-U-P-I-N-S-K-Y. And I'll just put a link in the in the thing below so you guys can check it out. Anyway, here we are back in... Um, Beautiful Point Pleasant. Point Pleasant. I love this street here. <clears throat> and uh, what a unusual fruitful time it was in Point Pleasant. Um, did we shoot this? I can't remember if we shot this the first... The the night stuff here? Was it the second night we were here? This was the first night. All no, our, no, this was the second night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second night. It was the second night. We came here. We were... Um, this night was really windy. Mm-hmm. The wind was unbelievable, and we were, um, when we first arrived, (laughs) I mean, I think we were, like, really kind of freaked out. (laughs) We got there during, I mean, it was, like, later in the afternoon when we arrived, and the hotel does have kind of a different feel when it's, um, daylight. Yeah. Well, the sun seemed, it was, like, just going away. But remember I was screwing with you in the room? So we get there, you know, we're all, like, talking about ghosts and stuff, and then... (laughs) <laughs> I I went and I was like looking at my phone and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to fuck with Will. So I said, uh, I said, hey, uh, Will, I said, oh my God, you're not going to believe it. I said, a woman killed her baby in this room. <laughs> and Will's like, no, are you kidding me? I'm not staying in here. It immediately freaked me out. And then you said something else happened in the room next to us, I believe. <laughs> like a man killed his children yeah. something. I, <laughs> I mean, what is wrong with you? <laughs> What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Making up stories of people <laughs> killing their babies. <laughs> I just wanted you to be freaked out. Yeah. Oh, it was it was very easy to be freaked out in here. How the hell did we stay up late enough to start shooting at three o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Alcohol. Yeah, I think we were pretty lit <laughs> at this point. Which one of the weird things about this video is I didn't think anybody would like it because, like, I felt like it was kind of sloppy, like mm. sloppy because. We were drinking, and I just could not clear... You know, I usually, like, if I shoot something and I say, oh, okay, you know, you got a clear head, and you say, oh, I got all the coverage I need, I, I did it, I got what I need. This night, I could not... I couldn't stay clear. I was like, did, did we do that? Did, was it okay? <laughs> uh-huh. Um, so I just kind of... I just kind of just let it go... The way it went to go. By the way, that dog is so cute. It's so cute. I love that picture. Whose dog is that? That is um, my ex girlfriend's dog. Oh. <laughs> but the dog is very, very cute. Um. So anyway, uh, we. Um, I just felt I, I was like this video. I would have been very sad if you didn't put this out because I, while we were doing it, we were having such a good time, and I was like, I think people are going to love this because we're having a great time, and it's spooky, and all these things are happening <laughs> to us while we're in there. It was a creepy place. I mean, it's a beautiful hotel, and a lot of people have said like they're like, um, I've heard like a couple of people are, they've been kind of like I don't know, like they don't like the way the hotel looks or they don't oh, like really? the decorations or whatever, but that's the p- charm of the yeah. place. I mean, um, I love this hotel. I love staying here. It's creepy. It's in a creepy town. It's, uh, it's like you're going back in time. Really Pretty much. I felt like we were in like the fifties in this town almost, especially in the hotel. I felt like we were never going to get out <laughs> of the town. Um, so anyway, uh, while we were filming, and but and the the hailstorm was so oh, yeah. weird. Like that Out was of another nowhere. Th- like that was another thing. Like it just was like it, it. It just came out of nowhere, and we were. I was completely gobsmacked. Like yeah. I could not believe. It. <laughs> I was like, "What is going on?" Like it was totally crazy, but. 
Obviously, it this gave right me a here, fright. Oh, this, yeah. Oh, wait, I actually heard something. You heard something, too. Mm-hmm. It was I, like a crack. A creek. A creak or... I could... I... For a minute, I thought somebody may, maybe was coming down the stairs, mm-hmm. but then there was nobody there, yeah. of course. It could have been the little boy. This it, is uh, yes. floor two. So. He fell down the stairs <laughs> on his tricycle. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't really, I don't really uh, believe in ghosts. Uh, it's just not my thing. I know there's a lot of people that do believe in it, and um, I certainly like the idea of it. I mean, because it's creepy. Um, but normally, I, it's just something I don't really think about. Yeah. I, I used to think about it, and then I thought, well, eh, it's just not, you know. But this, when you're in a place like this, you start thinking about it. <laughs> it's definitely in your head. <laughs> like, it's like, well, maybe there could be ghosts. <laughs> um, at some points, it felt like there was ghosts. To me, Oh, and we, I forgot to... We've we've I totally forgot to talk about it, but the television in the room. Oh yeah, like okay. So we got to the hotel and the remote didn't work. I believe didn't it not work? It, yeah, I tried to hit the television on with and, and I did it multiple times and it didn't come on. Yeah, and we just gave up. And then maybe like thirty or forty minutes later, yeah. like I had went out of the room, I think, or I was in the bathroom or something. The TV just came on while I was laying in bed, and I'm like, I'm like, what the hell? And then it happened twice. Yeah, it happened another time. Yeah, I think when we first arrived, it happened. We yeah, were in, and then we got in the room, and the TV came on by itself. And the last day, it happened. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm at, I don't know where I was. I wasn't in the room, but Dan's just I'm, all of a sudden I hear Dan go, "Will the TV turned on by itself?" <laughs> well, I mean, I, you know. It's not. Wait, you saw the TV come on. Yeah. So well, the second there time. Too. Yeah. Well, the first time. It didn't. I mean, I wasn't. I just thought it was something like the remote or something like screwed some up. Like short, maybe. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't think it was anything to worry about. I don't know. Not to worry about, but <laughs> it's that woman that killed her baby. She didn't want us watching TV. Right. She was trying to find Barney <laughs> on television. Um. So anyway, we did have a good time this night. Uh. But I gotta say, it was one of the weirdest experiences I've ever had being in a large hotel with no people in it. No one. Um, you know, because even at night, the front desk person leaves at like probably eight o'clock. I guess. Yeah, nine they o'clock. gave us the key to get in and remember out of the when front we were, door. Remember when we were filming um, the first night, and we came back kind of late, and that lady came out and she was <laughs> like, "Oh, what?" She's like, "What are you guys doing?" And I'm like, "Um." We got a room? <laughs> like, we have a room here? Yeah. Gave like, us that weird look. Because it's not the kind of town you like, oh, this part I like. Yeah. We heard that clang, bang sound in the... <laughs> but I was I was too lit to really give a shit about any of the sounds or whatever. I just didn't care. Yeah. I was just having fun. This but is I, so fun. This is the best hotel experience I've ever had. Yeah. Totally. Totally. But I didn't think... I, I just did not think there was a video here. And I was wrong. Yes, very Even wrong. Even after I put it together, I said, this is too fucking goofy. Every, everyone's going to hate it. And they didn't. They love it. So yeah. I was they relieved. They love our goofiness, apparently. Yeah. Well. I should have turned... You know what? Later on, not, you didn't have the camera on, but I did turn out this light in the elevator. I remember. <laughs> I remember. You turned it out. It, I should have did it right here. I was just so afraid that the elevator would get stuck and we would be like... Can you imagine being stuck in the And elevator? no one, yeah. What would we do? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we would have had to ration your drink because... <laughs> you take a sip, I'll take two sips. My drink was like back in the room. <laughs> I wasn't... Wa- I'm not going to stay I didn't in this have, elevator sober. I didn't have the luxury of walking around with a drink in my hand. I had to actually <laughs> shoot shit. But look at the hallway. It's so great. Every time, even looking down this hallway when we got there, it was like yeah. such a creepy feeling. Like you're <laughs> expecting like somebody to step out. Uh-huh. And this night too, with the wind, man, the whole place was like everything rattling, and you could hear like the that. <laughs> I mean, it was like crazy. Um, and actually, right down the hallway is where we stayed. Yep, down that was our the room three twenty. 328 or 322 what used to be but no we were in 328 yeah i think they just lost the 
I think they lost the, the little thing. Yeah, probably somebody lost it and then yeah. they just altered the other one. Man, that is a creepy ukulele player. <laughs> but it really this this was like the closest to the shining I've ever experienced. I mean, it's, if it was like it. a real life shining, it's like totally like that's what it is. Yeah. Like we were totally like <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I just I've never it's it's really like a dream situation for people who are into horror movies and stuff like that like this was a horror movie like there was no other way to really like who else has who else has a story like this yeah we went to a huge old hotel that had no one else in it and we were allowed to just walk around (laughs) and go in every room we wanted and see I I don't even know like I don't know if the owners have seen this or anything um I hope I don't, they, I don't think they would be upset by it. I hope it. not. I mean, we had a good time. I want I think people should go to this hotel and stay here and Yeah, I mean if anything well. if if anything it would give the hotel some exposure. Yeah. But I mean um Yeah, I mean I don't we you know I just I we I, maybe I should have asked. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure, but we, it was just this was like a spur of the moment. Yeah, this wasn't planned. Thing. Like we didn't It just was like, "Oh, let's shoot." Like I wasn't thinking like, "Oh, we're going to do a full video where we walk around." And it wasn't really until we f- figured out that the room some of the rooms were open and that we were the only people there. Yeah, I mean, we just we were like, "Well, rooms are open. Let's just do room tours." Yeah. But that, I mean, that was my idea to do room tours of like cuz with the Dead Motel series which I did not include this in the Dead Motel set because it's I not a dead. It's, it's open, yeah. <laughs> so it's not dead. But um, I thought you know it would make a interesting kind of video to show like an old hotel because uh, you don't see hotels like this anymore. I mean, there's there's a few of them left, but not not like this. No, this and is the room we stayed in. That right there, that uh, what, Schiffer robe is that what they call it? Uh, that had um, clothes in it. I don't know whose clothes they were, but it had it clothes did? in there. Yeah, it was. I think there was a bra in there. I'm pretty sure, huh. and there was uh, other shirts. Weird. It's very strange. By the way, the room was eighty nine dollars a night, which is a bargain. It's an actual suite, so you get a little yeah. seating area, a sitting room, two beds, and a bathroom, and uh, two TVs. Yeah, that's right. We had two yeah. televisions. One in the bedroom, one now, in Now, if I had known about the haunted rooms, we would have just stayed in one of those. That would have been great. Yeah, we should have just did that. That would have been fun. And they did tell us they had a jacuzzi room, which yeah, but we, we didn't, didn't see. see that anywhere. Maybe they keep that one Not locked. all the rooms were open, so yeah. we didn't really... I mean, I was so nervous. That's like where we're slowly opening the doors, because mm-hmm. we were nervous that... Somebody was in there. There was going to be someone asleep. <laughs> like, I was just... And it c- kind of like why we're walking around whispering, because I'm like, oh, God, we're gonna, I know we're going to wake, like, somebody up. If, yeah. If somebody jumped... Like, if we were walking oh, and somebody opened a door, I would have had a heart attack. Yeah. So here we are in this hallway, and I look over at their old copper... You know, that's the circuit breaker or whatever. And we start hearing that clanging down the hallway the radiator which um, I, I don't know if that it was, was the, the maid it was the it maid. was the maid doing her maid things, <laughs> her maid things. <laughs> <laughs> but i mean I, it just it's such a bizarre experience i wish i wish i hope that this video the, i think the video kind of gives you the feel yeah of what it was like because it was it was one of those things that i'm so glad that I have this because I can always say, Hey, you guys can watch the night that Will and I <laughs> were in a hotel all by ourselves, a haunted hotel all by our- ourselves. I mean, you know, you hear stories, people tell you this and you're always like, Oh, whatever. You know, they're like, Oh, it was terrifying. Yeah. But this is different. This actually was terrifying. It was. And you can be like, look, here's the video. to prove And it. what would this video be without that storm? I oh mean, no! The storm was so that was good. amazing. When the storm came, I kind of started thinking to myself, "I'm like, I'm like, I really hope that I nailed this video because <laughs> this storm is way too fucking good to waste. <laughs> like it was so good. It t- it was perfect timing. Perfect. And you are so idiotic. Uh, Will, idiotic. Will was standing there. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> stand in my position, you would have been scared as well. Standing there in the room, and 
you know, I'm like, you're looking over at the window and you're like huddling. Yeah. And it's coming up. Yeah. And then you start backing up when that, when the first little droplets of hail hit the window. I'm like, what are you, what are you going to do? Run? What was I? What, I'm just supposed to know hail's but going no, no, to no, happen? No, no, no. But what you thought. Was running out of the room? Yeah. Yeah, why not? That's, but what am I supposed to do? You're going to film the ghost and, you know, we'll have a ghost on camera. I'll be gone. You were ready to dart out of the room. Where were we going to run with to? A ghost? But where would you go? Our room and lock it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Such a great, down to the lobby. Such a great friend. Thank you. I'm going to go back out to the TNT bunkers. It's safer there. But I'll tell you guys, at three o'clock in the morning, this place was creepy. I mean, it really was creepy. But and it was fun. We it was so much fun. I can't well, even I can't about even it. tell you how fun how much fun this was. This was one of the best, most memorable hotel experiences I will probably ever have in my entire life. Like I can't I can't imagine it getting any better than this. This was it had everything that I love. It's creepy. You know, it's old. It's got ghost stories. It's got, you know, it's got everything there and there's nobody in the hotel with us. <laughs> it couldn't have been any more perfect couldn't have been a couple people said about this room they were like they were like saying um is it was it 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 looked creepy Mm -hmm. i think they set it up yeah they they definitely decorated it play up the haunted hotel factor but if you're like a ghost hunter or something i mean this would be fun yeah this would be great and it's cheap 89 dollars this these rooms might be a little more expensive maybe like 100 bucks but i mean for the experience, it, you can't beat it. Go there during the off season. Because if you're if you're into like ghosts and like creatures and all the other shit, like Point Pleasant's a great vacation. It's like the perfect vacation. You can go, you can hunt ghosts at night in your hotel, and then you can go out to the TNT bunkers and look for Mothman. I mean, it's like perfect. It's a perfect <laughs> trip. But what surprised me, too, is that nobody... There's no vi- good videos of, of this, this town, yeah. of the hotel, of nothing. It's just kind of an untapped kind of thing that no one's actually taken the time to do a proper kind of documentary on. So I really was interested in going here for that purpose. Yeah. And it's it deserves it. But, it man, we got some great videos out of this I town. Know. I mean, I cannot tell you guys how much uh fun we had here i love point pleasant i want to go back me too i want to go back for the mothman festival yeah i want to go to the mothman festival too it's sometime in september is it i'm not sure of the time i think it's uh september 21st through the 23rd maybe here's the big storm the hail that stuff was coming down too. Yeah, it was, and it, the the weather when we got into town, it nothing made it seem like it was going to hail. Like it wasn't. No, it didn't. It was some weird or snow. because it was I so. Mean, just, it was so cold. Yeah. So I guess when that blew over the river, it just because the wind was un un. I mean, it was crazy oh, it was how the, bad yeah. the wind was, and it's weird because in the beginning of this video, the shots are. Um, so the opening shots, there's like a couple that we shot the night of this shoot and then a couple that we shot the night before. So I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like it matched up appropriately. I thought it could have been a lot better, but because there was no wind. Yeah. But whatever. That's That's just, I, I talk about that stuff. Not one person. Nobody notice. notices. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like filmmaker shit. <laughs> Nobody would notice that unless I pointed it out. I love the shot. I think it's after this. When you can see how fast it's coming over that light right there on the pole. Oh, no. Yeah. Or is it right here? I think it's right I think here. it's right here. Man, that stuff was just pounding into those windows. Yeah, it's, it's coming down so fast. That was... It's just crazy would have been crazier if our reflection in the window there there was a woman standing behind us that would have been <laughs> with a vacuum proof <laughs> paranormal proof <laughs> paranormal proof but it, i think that there are some videos on youtube of like people ghost hunting or here you're using like evp stuff i think yeah they they use the tape recorders and then they like record people's voices mm-hmm. um 
And there's a few people that have even said that they hear voices in this video, but I am having trouble. (laughs) (laughs) Like when people, I mean, people always say they hear voices in the videos, people who believe in ghosts or into ghost stuff. Um, I, I think I've checked maybe once or twice, but I've never actually never heard. Yeah. No, I just, it's just, I just don't, there's so many things it could be. I just don't. You know, but I don't want to take away from anyone's experience. I mean, if that's if you hear voices, good. <laughs> I'm glad you hear voices. Stick around. Maybe you'll hear some more. <laughs> <laughs> this room, for whatever reason, so was cold. the creepiest room we went. I got so creeped out in here. It looked creepy. It felt creepy. Yeah. And um, I mean, this was. I, I, I did a little cut here. You see, when I turn the light on, it's and a different that, bed. That's what I thought. It, the white balance on the camera. Um, when when I'm moving from room to room, the white balance. It was so hard to to gauge where I needed to have it one way or the other. Mm. So I put it on auto. Auto. The the cancer of <laughs> camera auto. The auto button. So. I had it on auto, and uh, it takes a minute. Mm -hmm. So if you turn a light on in a room, it'll start out blue, and then it goes over to your, you know, to your color. Yeah. And uh, so I tried to cut the blue parts out because I can't stand the way it looks. So that's why I did that cut there. But then there's one other part was coming up where, why am I talking about this? About nobody gives a shit about this shit. Well, maybe maybe there's there's filmmakers. Yeah, maybe somebody's filmmaker. You know. Um, I thought this room was so cute. This room but I, was I great. cut out. I cut out my my lit drunken. Oh my god! It's so cute. This is so cute. <laughs> Can you believe this was so cute? <laughs> like I just I cut that all out. There's like a clip of me like. I love the mirror because it freaks everybody out. The mirror scared the <laughs> shit out of me when I looked into the room. I was like, oh my god, what is that? And then I'm like, oh, it's a mirror. But this room was really cute. Yeah. Kind of had like a mod vibe to it. I love those old hotel bathrooms. <clears throat> this door. Here, I love the door, this. The door. <laughs> We're all worried about the door. And then we get it. And then Dan's like, oh, no, it's closed. <laughs> it's one of my favorite parts when of the we video. Were looking down, when we were looking down, it really did look like it was Yeah, open. it looked like it was open. You can see it there. Look, it looks like it's open. Mm-hmm. That's just because of the light, I guess. And I was like, if that door is open, <laughs> I'm like, there's definitely ghosts here but unfortunately the door was closed just the way we left it so yes. there were no ghosts <clears throat> that we saw yeah well, i wouldn't say there was no ghosts will is much more of a believer than i am i'm i'm a believer in so that i fi- i haven't seen any evidence against or for so it could be real i'm not going to get into this <laughs> discussion because um it's a giant rabbit hole full of yes, this, that, the true. other. I think it's a. I think it's faith. That's what I think. I think if you if you believe in ghosts, there is not one thing another person can do or say to you to make you question your belief. Yeah, there isn't. So, well, these are people that feel they've heard or seen a ghost. I would. But say. I'm not going. You know the. That's the thing. That's what's so great about the, these videos. They can be enjoyed from both both perspectives. I would never do a ghost hunting video. People always ask me like, "Oh, you should do. Uh, you should use night vision. You should do." No. I would never do that because that's not what I do. It's that's not what I point. do. Um, it's boring. Those videos are so boring. We just sit in a dark room and wait for yeah, hours. Yeah, it's like what? It's like we're green. I do that already without a camera. Yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> it's like I don't want to do it. <laughs> um. So, yeah, so that's just not my thing. I mean, I like this style where you just kind of, you know, it's like, it's like everyone can enjoy it. It's not, it's, you know, it's not aimed towards any particular group of people. It's just everyone can sit and enjoy it. And that's why I do it. But I would never, ever say, you know, I would never um, rag on someone for their beliefs or their faith or whatever in ghosts. It's just, you know. I think it's cool. I wish. I wish. I'd love to see a ghost. Me too. That's what I was hoping. This whole time we were walking through here, I was like, can can something happen? I would to love to see a ghost. Confirm that there are ghosts. But I have never seen one. So 
Maybe one day. Who knows? Maybe on our trip. Yeah. When we go on the trip to shoot Dead Town, maybe we'll see some ghosts. See ghosts though. in the desert. But um, th- this uh, man, this bathroom, this whole little room, oh, this, <laughs> this this yeah. little section of the hotel is right next to our room. And it was scary as shit. Yeah, and it was really something creepy about this uh, little section. It was like three room, three bedrooms. Oh no, 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 two bedrooms mm-hmm. and a sitting room. Yeah. And um, it was just creepy. It, you got a creepy vibe just standing by the door. I was just like, ooh. <laughs> you just, because if you come out of our room, you turn to your left and you look straight. In, the door was open yeah. when we got to our room. So you look straight down and it's just this dark hallway. I was confused too. I was like, is it? Is it part? Yeah. Is this part of the, you know, I, I didn't know what's going on. This room actually has a sink in it, which is real old time. Was you that know, what was running? Because I know there was water running in the, well, in the, the bathroom, entire night. In the bathroom, in the bathroom. I, think the, I think they need to and fix think, the thing there. I think this is Captain Jim's room, actually. I, I think the information I got off whatever website was wrong. because it, I guess just because of that painting, I think that. So wait but, a minute. And it has three different rooms. This is the captain's room? <laughs> yes, I believe so. I knew I smelled salt water. <laughs> <laughs> I f- it felt like someone hit me in the head with an oar. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, where's the rockfish? <laughs> Will and I are hungry. We need some fish. <laughs> There's nowhere to eat. Remember, Will, this night, Will and I were trashed. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. We were starving. It was what? We were so hungry. 5.30 when we got done? 5.30 in the morning. We were so hungry. I mean, we weren't. But by the time we were done, I was not drunk anymore. I was like... I was just exhausted. Yeah, I was tired. Point. I wanted to go to bed, but I was so hungry. So in Point Pleasant, there's nothing. There's nowhere to eat. We went to a gas station that had an all-night little <laughs> convenience store, and they don't let you in. No, it's locked. You it's have to locked. go tell them what you want. And I'm like... So we went across the river to... Ohio? Galapagos, or... I don't know how... Uh, Gal Gal Galapolis 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 something Ohio something starting with G. Um, they had a a, a McDonald's Ugh. and they were serving breakfast and we got the food. It was so fucking disgusting. I mean, it was absolutely. It was like eating a pile of vomit. Before that, I hadn't had McDonald's in like five years. And someone told me that that McDonald's is one of the only ones in the country that serves pizza. Pizza. I heard. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I would have loved to have had pizza, but... McDonald's pizza, do you think that's going to be good? I can't even imagine what that would be like. It's probably worse than Subway pizza. (laughs) But this was like... uh, We were so hungry, we got food, came back, ate. It was was getting light outside. Um, Ate and slept, if I'm not mistaken. We just went to sleep. I don't even think we got a good night. I I didn't sleep very Uh well. I was just... You know... Truthfully, I don't think I slept that good the whole... Any... While we were here, maybe it was just. I don't remember. Nerd. Yeah, I don't remember. We were we were working. That's true, and we were up really late both. Yeah, nights. I mean we were up really late out filming in that horrible, in the cold, in the dark, in oh, the woods, the TNT area. I mean, it just was a such a creepy experience. But I actually like this closed section of the hotel. Yeah, I love I, when we go into it. Just the the like how you were talking about how it looks yeah. blue. I kind of like that. Well, maybe it worked for that. Generally speaking, <laughs> now if that TV came on, I would jump out of my skin. <laughs> the TV was. See, awesome there's though. that sink. There's the sink. That's the room that I was just talking about. That's the little sink in it. And then the final shot here, very dramatic. The Mothman Feeding appears. The Mothman. Anyway, guys, I'm glad you all enjoyed this video because I really did not think anybody would want to see this. <laughs> but I am always surprised and uh amused and happy when you all enjoy these things that we put together and this one just rolled out like when i started editing it it just like easy (laughs) i was able to like put it together in one night and i just kept clipping 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 but um i love this video it's it's i do too it's It's one of my favorites that we've done really it really is a good one you just never know you never know when it's going to come out and be like something that's like something wow, that's great, yeah, yeah. And then anyway, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. 
Make sure you check out the other videos in the Cutting Room Floor series. And, uh, yeah. Duh. And, uh. And, uh. All right, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.